Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Katlero. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back to another video. Today we are talking about diploma in environmental sciences and how it is different from a bachelor's of science in environmental sciences. This was a prompt um, brought about by a comment on my previous video that said how is a diploma in environmental sciences different from the qualification you studied i studied um, a bachelor of sciences please do a video on a diploma in environmental sciences so let's get into it a diploma in environmental sciences and a bsc in environmental sciences are two distinct qualifications and they differ in terms of number one the educational level one is a bachelor's of science the other one is a diploma the depth of study and the career prospects that one can have with either qualification so let's start with the educational level because that is the most obvious of the two and you will get to see in terms of educational level a bsc in environmental science is a higher level qualification compared to a diploma i will put the nqf level on the screen a bsc is an undergraduate degree that typically requires three to four years of full-time study while a diploma is generally a shorter program that can range from six months to three years depending on where exactly you study so in terms of the depth of study which is point number two a bsc in environmental sciences provides a more comprehensive and in-depth understanding of the field the curriculum typically includes a wider range of scientific and technical courses such as environmental chemistry biology geology ecology you guys know this i've said this so many many times and the coursework is more rigorous and students are exposed to theoretical concepts research methods and lab techniques Again, if you watch my undergraduate video that I made about my undergraduate experience, you will see what type of courses we do in environmental sciences. And in contrast, a diploma in environmental sciences tends to be a lot more practical and skill oriented. So while it covers fundamental concepts and practical applications, the depth of the study may be comparatively less than a bsc program so while a bsc is more like research this is the theory behind everything a diploma may be like these are the practical skills that you actually need to go and work out there in the field so it gives you a more hands-on approach versus a more research and theory-based approach i think that's one of the things i've always um liked about doing like a diploma because you get more work experience essentially um in terms of career prospects a bsc in environmental sciences generally offers broader career um, prospects and opportunities for advancement it is often preferred or even required for some specialized positions such as research roles or higher level positions in environmental consulting firms government agencies research institutions universities etc a BSc degree may also provide a pathway for pursuing postgraduate studies such as a master's, a doctoral degree for further specializations. So if you're looking to be an academic, maybe do like a master's or something, you need a bachelor's degree. Um, and if you did a diploma, then you're going to have to like go a step higher and do a bachelor's degree before you can specialize. A diploma in environmental sciences, on the other hand, is generally more suitable for entry-level positions that require practical skills and hands-on experience. Diplomas can lead to positions such as environmental technicians, field researchers, environmental officers, or conservation assistants. While diplomas provide a solid foundation for studying a career, advancement into higher level positions may be limited and you again would need to do a bachelor's of science in order to get into a master's program or a phd program so you just need to keep that in mind so in conclusion if you're seeking a more comprehensive understanding of environmental sciences the field it's better to do a bsc because it offers you more opportunities for a specialized career but then if you're looking to just have more practical experience and focus in a certain program that can like quickly 
prepare you for the job market it's better to do a diploma because it's more hands-on when you're making this decision whether you want to go the bsc route or the diploma route it's important to take note of what are your future career aspirations are you gonna wanna specialize in the future because then it's better to work towards a bsc if you're still in high school but if you just wanna work <laughs> you know in south africa it's just anyway i'm not gonna get into that because i got into that in the other video if you just want to get job ready it's considered better to do a diploma again this is the research i made it's not necessarily my personal opinion i mean i did a bsc so um again if you are asking because let's say you did a diploma in environmental sciences because maybe you didn't qualify to do a bachelor's of science but if your career goals is to specialize then from your diploma you can go do a bsc and then do a master's and then do a phd because a bsc is higher a higher level than a diploma but if you just want to get practical experience um then do a diploma i was talking to these other girls who were doing i think it was practical so because they're studying from in a private institution a semester they go out and work in a nature reserve that gives them a more hands-on a more hands-on approach to like this is the type of work that is done out there you get work experience at the same time you get to know this is how you manage a reserve those type of things which is not something you will learn in a bsc degree in a bsc you will learn this is the research scientific method this is how i do research etc so i'm just gonna briefly mention the type of programs that you can expect in a diploma in environmental sciences number one is environmental science fundamentals which are the basic principles theories behind environmental sciences number two is environmental management um number three is lab work and lab technique lab work lab techniques and field work number four is legislation and policy so they will expose you to those type of things and then number five is specialization tracks basically it's like you're doing your final year you have to like decide which which area would you like to move forward in etc and career um career prospects are more or less like those of an environmental scientist but obviously you would need to look at the specific requirements that they want for example you can become an environmental officer or consultant a technician a conservation worker an environmental educator as well as a sustainability officer so like one thing you will learn from this channel because i keep repeating over and over again environmental careers intersect a lot it just depends on the company and the specific requirements that they have for a certain position so i hope that answers the question i hope it helps if you have any more questions always drop them down in the comment section i always see them i note them down I make videos if i'm able to answer immediately i will definitely answer on the comment you will get your answer but if i think i need to elaborate a little bit more and do more research i make a video about it like today i hope this video helped i will see you in the next one Bye.